Thanks for checking out this video. So here is the information on what is coming to Shutter for August. Uh, I think a lot of people see it's a little bit lighter as opposed to what July was for exciting titles. Although, although there is one title in particular that I'm excited about because it's been on my list to check out. So can't wait to get there. So first of all, there's going to be a new season of the show Slasher. Yes, it's the one that was on Netflix, but now it's going to be on Shudder. And it's their season four, which will be called Flesh and Blood, just so you know. Uh, this is going to be available in the U.S. and Australia and New Zealand. Uh, a wealthy but dysfunctional family gathers for a reunion in a secluded island, only to learn they'll be pitted against one another in a cruel game of life and death, all while being stalked by a mysterious mass killer. Nothing is what it seems, and no one is safe as the tension and body count ratchets up. Sounds good. Uh, I will have a um, no-spoiler review coming out before the episodes start hitting Shudder. Uh, I have the first two episodes to review, so no-spoiler reviews will go up just for probably the first two episodes, unless I can get my hands on the other ones, just to give you an idea of what the show's looking like and if I recommend it or not. Oh, and just a reminder, all of the Shudder original and exclusive things... I always have no spoiler reviews for those the week they come out, and it's usually on a Monday, uh, either Monday or Tuesday, sometimes on a Friday if it's coming out like the following Monday or Tuesday, so just look for those on my channel. So, speaking of that, a Shudder original film, Teddy, is coming on August 5th. Oh, I forgot to tell you, Flesh and, uh, Slasher Flesh and Blood is coming August 12th. So, coming August 5th is Teddy, Shudder original film, coming to... Uh, all areas that get Shudder. Everyone's getting it. 20-something uh, Teddy lives in a foster home and works as a temp in a massage parlor. Rebecca, his girlfriend, will soon graduate. A scorching hot summer begins, but Teddy is scratched by a beast in the woods, the wolf that local angry farmers have been hunting for months. As weeks go by, animal impulses soon start to overcome the young man. Sounds interesting enough. Sounds like werewolf, maybe not, but I'm down with werewolf stuff. The next one is coming August 10th, and that is Bleed With Me, that's a Shutter original, coming to the US, UK, Ireland, Australia, and New Zealand. So sorry, no Canada for this one. Rowan, a vulnerable outsider, is thrilled when the seemingly perfect Emily invites her on a winter getaway to an isolated cabin in the woods. Trust soon turns to paranoia when Rowan wakes up with mysterious incisions on her arm. Sounds interesting. Haunted by dreamlike visions, Rowan starts to suspect that her friend is drugging her and stealing her blood. Interesting twist there. She's paralyzed by the fear of losing Emily, but the but she must fight back before she loses her mind. Interesting. Okay. Then, August 19th, uh, Shutter exclusive, we have Jacob's Wife, which I've heard a lot about. I know Barbara Crampton and Larry Fessenden are in it, so I've been very interested to see this one. This one is coming to everyone who gets Shudder. Anne is in her late 50s and feels like her life and marriage have been drink shrinking over the past 30 years. Through a chance encounter with a stranger, she discovers a new sense of power and an appetite to live bigger and bolder than before. However, these changes come with a toll on her marriage and a heavy body count. Very interested in that one. Sounds good. Then the last Shudder exclusive coming August 26th is called Mosquito State. And this one is coming to everyone who gets Shudder. August 2007, isolated in his austere penthouse overlooking Central Park, obsessive Wall Street data analyst Richard Boca sees ominous patterns. His computer models are behaving erratically, as are the swarms of mosquitoes breeding in his apartment, an infestation that attends his psychological meltdown. Interesting. That sounds like a really weird concept, but... I'm in. Obviously, I will have no spoiler reviews for all those coming. Okay, so I only have a list of all the films other than the Shutter exclusives and originals that are uh, coming to the U.S., so none of these listed are coming to anything but the U.S., unfortunately. So, just so you know. August 1st, uh, Dolls. This is the one that's been on my list to see for quite a while, and actually there's two, now that I remember. There are two films that are coming in August that I'm really wanting to see. So this is one of them, Dolls. A dysfunctional family of three stop by a mansion during a storm. The traveler's young daughter discovers that the mansion's elderly owners are magical toy makers that have a haunted collection of dolls. 
up my alley. I love the Puppet Master films, so I've heard this one's good. I'm down. Oh, by the way, this one's coming August 1st, and the next three are also coming to Shutter August 1st. Pumpkinhead. After a tragic accident, a man conjures up a towering, vengeful demon called Pumpkinhead to destroy a group of unsuspecting teenagers. Classic. Lance Henriksen. Gotta love it. Uh, this is the other one I'm really excited about. Witchfinder General, a.k.a. The Conqueror Worm. Also coming the first. Starring horror icon Vincent Price, a young soldier seeks to put an end to the evils caused by a vicious witch hunter when the latter terrorizes his fiance and kills her uncle. Very excited for that one. Uh, that's a film I've been meaning to see for a long time. So I'll finally get that done. And then the last one coming August 1st is Dead Calm. After a tragedy, John Ingram and his wife Ray are spending some time isolated at sea when they come across a stranger who has abandoned a sinking ship. Okay, sounds intriguing enough. Coming August 3rd, Good Manners. Clara, a lonely nurse from the outskirts of Sao Paulo, is hired by mysterious and wealthy Anna as the nanny for her unborn child. The two women develop a strong bond, but a fateful night changes her plans. For more contemporary werewolf films, check out... Okay, that's just a recommendation. Sorry about that. Um, that sounds interesting enough. I'm into werewolf stuff. Coming August 9th, The Dead Pit. A renegade doctor is shot dead and entombed with his fiendish exper experiments in the basement of an abandoned wing of a mental hospital. 20 years later, a mysterious woman is admitted with amnesia, and her arrival is marked by an earthquake that cracks the seal of the dead pit, freeing the evil doctor to continue his work. That sounds awesome. I'm very interested in that one. And also coming August 9th is Bloodthirsty. Directed by Amelia Moses, Gray is an indie singer who is having visions that she is a wolf. When she gets an invitation to work with notorious music producer Von Daniels at his remote studio in the woods, she begins to find out who she really is. Interesting. Sounds like another werewolf thing. Sounds like they're dropping quite a few werewolf things in August. I'm down with that. Coming August 16th, A Field in England. From director Ben Wheatley, during the Civil War in 17th century England, a group of deserters free from bat flee from battle through an overgrown field. Uh, captured by an alchemist, the men are forced to help, help him search to find a hidden treasure that he believes is buried in the field. Doesn't sound that interesting to me, but let me know if I'm wrong on that, if I should check it out. Also coming on August 16th is Borgman. A vagrant enters the lives of an arrogant upper-class family, turning their lives into a psychological nightmare in the process. Sounds like it could be good. Coming August 17th, Dave Made a Maze. <laughs> That's an interesting title. Dave, an artist who has yet to complete anything significant in his career, builds a fort in his living room out of pure frustration, only to wind up trapped by the fantastical pitfalls, booby traps, and critters of his own creation. Huh. That actually sounds really cool. I'm pretty interested in checking that one out. And the other one coming on August 17th is Anguish. A controlling mother uses telepathic powers to send her middle-aged son on a killing spree. That sounds interesting. And then two more films, both coming on August 23rd. Cheap Thrills. A scheming couple put a struggling family man and his old friend through a series of increasingly twisted dares over the course of an evening at a local bar maybe and the final one nothing bad can happen inspired by horrifying true events tor a young lost soul involved with an underground christian punk movement falls in with a dysfunctional family who test his seemingly unwavering faith okay so there it is um as you can probably see a little lighter than what july was they really hit hard in July, there's a lot of good stuff. There's still stuff on my plate that they've added in July that I really need to get to. So I'm fine with it being a little bit lighter for August. But like I said, very excited about Dallas. Very excited about Witchfinder General. Uh, what are you excited about? What do you really want to see? Also, what should I be keying in on that I, that I haven't expressed interest in? Put it in the comments. Recommend what of the films coming in August should I definitely check out. Uh, and obviously, if I do, I'll do reviews for them. But... Thank you very much for taking your time to check this out. Do me a quick favor, hit the subscribe button if you can. If you like this video or any video I've ever done, that's your way to support me, to keep me motivated, 
takes you literally a second, totally painless, costs you no money. So if you could do that for me, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, I always do these every single month, so you can always check back to my channel. And like I said, all the Shutter exclusives and originals I have no spoiler reviews for before those films go up. On Shutter, that is. So, wonderful. Anyway, thank you everyone for taking your time to check this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.